Good morning, friends. Um, I just realized I haven't even talked yet today. It is still pretty early. It's um, probably 8 o'clock. I haven't even checked. Um, I just got up. I'm actually still in my PJs, which you probably, you guys probably won't be able to see, but I'm literally in pajamas. Um, but it is Friday, and today I have some things to do. I've had lots to do. Sorry, I don't know if you guys could hear that. I have, um, I've had tons to do with the bookstore lately. Um, we have an event coming up next weekend, and we've been busy getting ready for that um, event. So I've been stopping by at some point every day to um, do different things here and there, and um, that's not going to stop. I'm going to have to keep going over there, um, especially next week. I've got some things to do before the event, um, and I had some errands, just one particular errand to run for myself for the event. It's kind of a long story, but you guys will see because I will probably share. I really want to vlog some of the event, but um, we'll see because we might be, it might just be really busy. So um, I'm not working the event, but I am doing some behind the scenes stuff for it and I am going to be there for some of it. So all that to say that um, I've got a busy day today. I'm going to go spend some time with my sister because she's got a friend from out of town um, that we're both excited to see. She's coming into town today and we're going to do some stuff with her and another friend. And so um, basically that's where I'm at. Last night you guys saw the vlog of me reading um, Home is Where the Bodies Are and when I tell you that was the fastest read, I literally finished the book last night. I started it and finished it last night. So it was such a quick thriller. It was only 240 something pages. And so when I picked it up, I knew it, it like looked thin, but that doesn't always mean that it'll be like a shorter read. Sometimes the words are really tiny or something. So I ended up, um, I just, started reading it and I was listening to the audiobook and as it was going I was like okay this is going really fast like I hit halfway before like I I think it was before 10 o'clock that I was halfway through the book and I was like oh I will definitely finish this tonight there's there's no question about it so I did start um another book I started um, maybe meant to be, which was on my TBR, on my fall TBR, but I, um, don't know if you guys have watched that video, so I can show you that book, but, um, it's a young adult, it's not even, it's just like a young adult romance, I guess, um, but it takes place in the very beginning of the school year, and so the cover has, like, a fall vibe, and obviously the beginning of a school year always kind of gives, the fall vibe. So, um, that was my next read and I actually listened to that one for a really long time last night because I could not sleep. So, um, I think I got like 50% through that. So I was just flying through books last night. Um, which is not typically like me, but it felt really good to knock some more books off of the, off of the list of my TBR. So, um, that's where we are at today and I'm going to see what we're doing today and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. Hi guys. Um, I actually have no clue where I left off in the vlog because I'm pretty sure I vlogged on Friday that I was busy and I had some plans and I had bookstore stuff to do and I was hoping to vlog but I didn't really vlog much um, if anything I don't even know if I vlogged anything so 
It was a very, very busy day and a very busy weekend. Um, we had a ton going on for all of Friday and all of Saturday. So honestly, I've had very little time to read since um, I last vlogged. But here's a little update. So last I was vlogging, I was reading Home is Where the Bodies Are. And as of... Thursday night, I believe, I finished, I actually read that whole book that night. It's only 240 pages, so it was a really, really quick read, and I was listening to the audiobook as well, and the audiobook like flew by. It was literally so fast. I think it literally took me like a total of like maybe four hours to read, four and a half hours, but I was, that's all I was doing on Thursday night. So, um, yeah, so I read Home is Where the Bodies Are on Thursday night, which is our book club book. So I'm really excited because that means the whole rest of the month I can basically just read whatever I'm in the mood for, um, which is really fun. And so right now I've been bouncing back and forth between like three, well, two different books, but about to be three. Um, I have been reading Maybe Meant to Be and... Um, I can't remember the name of the other one. One second. Okay, I had to go um, grab them, but I'm reading Maybe Meant to Be um, by K.L. Wather. So I read um, her other book that's like about summertime. Um, I can't remember the name of that one either, of course. But um, I read her summer book. It's like a pink cover. It's really, really cute. It's also a young adult um, romance book. And I read that one over the summertime and I really enjoyed that. And then this one is another young adult romance. It's about like the um, school season, the fall time. It's like the beginning of the school year. And I felt like this would be the perfect like autumn vibe. Um, you know, it's just like a different type of fall vibe. But I was really excited to read this one. Um, and I got like 66% through this book and I'm honestly so bored that I had to like put it down for a little bit and I'll jump in and try to finish it here in the next like week or two but this book's boring me to death I literally cannot even with this book I'm I'm really bored so I ended up picking up another um another romance and this one is really fun I've been really waiting for this book and um I'm excited. It's called The Love of My Afterlife. Um, this one I obviously got from Book of the Month and I have been really, really excited to read this book. It is about a girl that dies pretty young. Like she's in her, I don't, I don't even know how old she is, but she's pretty young and she like lives alone and she's kind of a loner, a weirdo. She doesn't really have many friends. She never really goes out and she ends up like dying by like choking on her food and when she gets to the afterlife she ends up meeting this guy in the afterlife and there's like an instant connection they fall in love and she's like we are we have to be like fated to be together and then it's actually an accident that he was in the afterlife and he gets sent back to earth and so the like manager of the afterlife is like well you know, I can send you back on one deal that you have 10 days and to get, his name is Jonah, you have 10 days to get Jonah to kiss you. And if he kisses you, like without you starting it, then you get to stay on earth and you guys can live happily ever after. But if he does not, then you have to come back to the afterlife and she'll be stuck working in the afterlife just like the woman who like gave her that deal basically. Um... And this one is honestly really fun. I'm definitely enjoying it. I read a decent amount the other night when I pretty much all weekend, the only time I've had to read is at the end of the night, like right before bed. I usually have a couple hours of like chill time where I can just sit down and read for a little bit. And so I got like to page 100 the other night. So it was kind of a good place to pause for a little bit. Because I think, I totally just dropped that book. Um, I think that I'm still in the mood for a fantasy, 
but I'm not quite in the mood to get back into the um, Ember Nasha series. And so I've been like kind of searching. I really want a fantasy series that I'm just going to be like so obsessed with. I cannot put this book down. I can't put the series down. I cannot stop reading it. And I felt that way about the first Ember and the Ashes book. And then I liked the second book. But I'm not quite feeling that way just yet about the third book. And so... I still want to read the third book very soon and I have that one downloaded on my Kindle right now but I think I want to try to start The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson which is like a huge fantasy series. It's five books and they are like the first book is like over a thousand pages so this is not like a easy little quick you know romanticy it has like from what I've heard it has very little romance it is like high high fantasy so we will see I'm gonna give it like a good like try in the beginning and if I'm not kind of jumping into it pretty quickly then maybe I will try to start the Reaper in the Gates and just see um, what I'm in the mood for usually I just have to like find something that will like grasp my attention and I can't put it down and then after that I will be back in a reading mood where I like do not want to stop reading so that is the plan for tonight we will see what I end up reading and for how long um we're also like in the middle of doing a ton of laundry right now so there's also that. So I'm probably going to be listening to an audiobook while I like fold laundry and clean my house and do dishes. <laughs> so that's where we're at and I just wanted to update you guys on this reading vlog. Good morning friends. Um, so this morning it is Tuesday morning and um, I haven't vlogged in a little bit because my weekend was super busy. I've barely had any time to read. I've barely picked up a book. So um, today is Tuesday and I am actually picking up a shift at the bookstore today. So I'm going to have some more time to read, some time to vlog. So um that's the plan for today and yeah let's go now Okay guys, hi. So I am back. Now it's another day. Um, so it is Wednesday. Yesterday was the day that I was at the bookstore. And today I don't have as much to do. So I'm hoping to get some reading done. Um, and so I wanted to update you guys first before I started reading on like where I'm at in, in this reading vlog. Because I've like jumped all over the place. I started out like in the very beginning of the reading vlog I was reading Home is Where the Bodies Are I finished that in one night then I picked up Maybe Meant to Be I got like 50% through this in, in that night and then I put this down because it was really boring me and so then I picked up The Love of My Afterlife I read that the next day for 
quite a while or like just over the weekend <clears throat> that was like pretty broken reading so that wasn't like one straight stretch I've like picked that book up like 15 times and I've gotten now about halfway through um so yesterday while I was at the bookstore I was able to finish maybe meant to be um which was like kind of difficult because honestly this book I didn't really enjoy it like I felt a little bit like I like wasted my time with this one like there are so many other books that I would have rather spent my time reading than this which is super unfortunate because I was actually really excited for this I really enjoyed reading um the summer of broken rules which is right there um I really enjoyed reading that book over the summer and so I, I kind of expected to like this one a lot more than than I did and I just did not enjoy this one. So unfortunately this is a two star for me um, which is a big bummer. I'm really sad about that but um, so that's where I'm at on Maybe Meant to Be. Finished that one. Didn't love it. Now, to update you on where we are at currently is, um, so I did not, I have not finished The Love of My Afterlife. I am still about 50% through that, but I've just really been feeling lately like I'm in the mood for a fantasy still. Like I'm really wanting like this, I want like a fantasy series that is just going to have me like in love with it like I I want to pick up another series like I felt not like I don't want the series to be like Aquatar but I want to feel the way that I felt when I read Aquatar if that makes sense like I want a series that I'm obsessed with and I can't put it down and I I just I haven't had a series like that in a really long time and like I said previously I felt that way a little bit in the beginning of an ember in the ashes series and that has kind of fizzled out just a little bit. But I feel like there's still two more books. And so in the third book, I could totally feel like, yeah, no, I am obsessed with this. I love this series. This is amazing. But I'm like not super excited to pick that one up. I'm not feeling, I don't know. I'm just not feeling like that's what I'm in the mood for right now. So... As you saw, I tried to pick up The Way of Kings, which is like a super heavy fantasy series, but I picked that up specifically because I always, always, every single person that I've heard that has read and finished that series has raved about it and absolutely loved it. And they swear by Brandon Sanderson and they swear by that series. And so I would love to pick up The Way of Kings or Mistborn or like one of his really well-known series. But when I picked up The Way of Kings, I was very quickly like, I don't think I'm in the mood for like this heavy of a fantasy uh, book. So I'm kind of stuck. And I'm at the point where I'm like, I literally have no clue what to read. So this is when... <laughs> I start picking up like a bunch of books and I will read this happens every time I'm like kind of getting into a reading slump but I'm really fighting against it like I do not want to be in a reading slump so I'm picking up like a bunch of books and I'm gonna like read the beginning and see if any of them like capture my attention right from the start and if they don't then I'm just gonna pick one and just go with it and read it so we're going to see what I end up reading and what I end up doing. So yeah, that's where I'm at. We have really nice fall vibes today. It's really cold outside. It is like in the 40s in the temperature. So it's really cold and it, we, do, we totally have the fall weather going right now. The leaves on the trees are finally changing color and they look so pretty and the leaves are falling and it's so nice outside. And so I've got like some... I'm going to put on some music and um, just really enjoy the fall ambiance that we've got going on, the natural fall um, vibes, and listen to a book or read a book. We'll see what happens. So yeah, that's an update, and I'm, I'll let you know what I end up reading.
guys. Um, I have an update, like a reading update. So yesterday you guys saw that I was starting A Reaper at the Gates, um, which is book three in the Ember in the Ashes series. Um, and since yesterday, I didn't really like vlog much because I was actually really busy yesterday, but today um, I had some stuff to do at the bookstore, but it was all like, like, like I've said, behind the scenes type stuff. I was kind of like in the back by myself doing just a bunch of stuff to get ready for this weekend. And um, while I was doing that, I had lots of time to listen to my audiobook. So I am now 70% through A Reaper at the Gates. And when I tell you that there was just a really crazy <laughs> plot twist and like just like a really shocking thing was revealed like a plot point was revealed and something that has like been basically under our noses from the, whole, the start of the series and I literally when I read it my face like my jaw actually dropped I was like no way there's literally no way and it's I just cannot believe the plot point is crazy I had to update you guys at this point because I'm like what is going to happen in the last 30% of this book I'm really I, I'm just I'm so intrigued now and I like think that I'm going to sit down and try to pretty much finish out the rest of this book probably tonight I would assume that I'm I would probably finish it tonight so we will see how that goes but I just really wanted to update you guys on my progress and where I'm at so far and yeah I wish I would have got that moment me reading that moment on camera because I'm like that was honestly crazy and it caught me so off guard like <laughs> I did not I really truly did not see it coming at all and so when they like revealed this plot point I was like what it like had me thinking back through the last two books <laughs> that I've been reading and like just thinking like man was there there was definitely hints and I didn't see it so <laughs> I don't know that anybody would have seen it truthfully, but I guess if anybody's read the series and you know what I'm talking about, let me know if you saw this plot point coming, but I I did not. So this is crazy and I'm ready to get back into my book and yeah. guys so today is Friday which means it's been one week since the very beginning of this vlog um, when I started reading home is where the bodies are and now since then I am on my third book um, of this week which is um, a reaper at the gates and I am about 75% through the book so I'm really close to finishing but unfortunately I don't think I'll be able to finish in the next couple days because we have a lot going on. So I'm just going to finish out this vlog today um, and hope that maybe I can, you know, squeeze in some time um, to finish A Reaper at the Gates. But um, today's agenda is that I am babysitting today and uh, today is the first day of our event at the bookstore. Um, it's a two-day event, so it's today and tomorrow. Um, and so I'm planning to take Sophia to the bookstore with me. And um, from there, we'll kind of see. It all kind of depends on like how long I'm at the bookstore and stuff. So we'll just see um, how today goes and what we end up doing for today. But... Um, yeah, that's an update. Hi guys, 
so this is where I'm going to end the vlog um, so it's been over a week now and I read two and a half books and so this vlog was just a weekly reading vlog come along with me um, to work and reading and talking books and all that so um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I really wanted to be able to finish um, a I almost said a torch against the night it's actually a reaper at the gates I really wanted to be able to finish that in this video and unfortunately I just have not been able to and I don't have time so um this is where I'm going to end the video and thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time bye